Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. When we consider Jesus' ministry, it's very interesting the way he came onto the scene. He didn't come barging in with guns blazing and just with uh, a bunch of fanfare and uh, basically just forcing his way uh, into the realm of uh, public, uh, in front of the public. Uh, really, he kind of eased his way in. And one of the ways that he did that was through the work of John the Baptist. John the Baptist was one who was sent before him to kind of pave the way, to kind of prepare the way for Christ. So that when Christ did come and made his public appearance, things would run a lot more smooth. Uh, this is what it says in Mark chapter 1. In our reading today, it says, As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, this is verse 2 of chapter 1, Behold, I send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, make ready the way of the Lord, make his path straight. And as we think about it, we might uh, really maybe step back a little, bit, a little bit and say, why was it that Jesus needed John the Baptist? <laughs> Certainly him being the son of God, him being the Messiah, surely he could have paved his own way, could have made it, made the scene or stepped onto the scene in his own, own way. But he had this guy by the name of John the Baptist go before him. Well, this kind of just shows the way that the Lord works with us. Uh, you know, he, again, didn't just barge in. He had John the Baptist make the way for him. And this would be done through bringing people to repentance, bringing people to baptism, uh, just really preparing people's hearts so that when Christ did come, they would be ready. But it did, it, this isn't the only instance where this takes place. We also know that in our own lives, this is the way that the Lord operates. He sends people to tell about him, to prepare the way for him, and then he enters into uh, the lives of people. Uh, he sends people like you and I to go out and tell people about Christ, to uh, tell, tell things about the gospel and about the loving Father who sent his Son to die on the cross for us. Uh, he sends us to basically play John the Baptist, to prepare the way for the Lord in the hearts of people. But it's also true of us personally as well, as we think about our own spiritual life. The Lord also doesn't barge his way into our lives. Uh, a person could know Christ, maybe even have placed their faith in Christ at some point in their life, and then go the rest of their lives without even really contacting Jesus. Because once again, he doesn't just barge his way in and force his way into our lives. Uh, this is brought out in Revelation chapter 3. In verse 20, where it says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in to him and will dine with him and he with me. In other words, the Lord wants fellowship with us. He wants to manifest his presence with us. But he, he's not going to go kicking down the door, barging into our lives and just, um, you know, working against our will. He's knocking on the door. He's saying, look, open the door to me. And I'll come in and we can have fellowship. We can dine together. Uh, we can have a relationship together. And so as we consider that, we should be thinking, okay, well, what do I need to do to prepare the way of the Lord? What can I do in my life to make a way, to make the Lord's path straight into my heart? And there's a lot of things that we could be doing. One of the things that we do as we are engaged in this group is getting involved in the scriptures, daily contacting God's word, uh, which keeps keeps directing our minds and our hearts back on the Lord, especially if we're medit meditating on it all day long, but also being engaged in prayer, in worship. Uh, there's a whole lot of things that we can be doing, but uh, the main thing is just seeking the Lord, having that posture of heart to where we say, Lord, I just want you in my life. And we have our arms open to him, waiting to receive him, and just seeking him all the day long. If we do that, hey, he's going to come through the door. And uh, he goes through the paths that have been made and prepared for him. And he comes to live with us, to dwell with us, to have fellowship with us, and to manifest himself to us. So it's a wonderful thing. But once again, we got to prepare the way for him. And so that's what we want to do today. Let's make that our goal. Prepare the way of the Lord to have a close relationship with him, to, to seek communion with him. Uh, that should be our heart's desire. So with that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.